In this video, I will guide you through the process of registering and purchasing a domain name using GoDaddy. Registering a domain name is one of the first steps you will need to take if you plan on putting together a website such as a Shopify store or a WordPress blog. This will be the domain name used to access your website, and also you can use this domain name for your email as well. To learn more about those processes, be sure to check out some of my other videos. So I'm starting out just by going to godaddy.com and I'm here now on the GoDaddy homepage. And basically I need to find a domain name that's available to register. So let's say I want to have a Shopify store that sells socks. So I'm gonna just put in amazingsocks.com. I'm gonna do a search. Now it's telling me that amazingsocks.com is taken and it also has a few suggestions for me to consider. So I definitely want to go over here and say I want a .com domain, because that's what I'm looking for. And then it shows me some different domains that are available for purchase. So let's go ahead and purchase impressivesocks.com. So I've selected that, and now I'm gonna click on Continue to Cart. Now here it's asking if I wanna protect my personal information. That's completely up to you if you wanna buy this package or not. I'm gonna say no thanks, but if you want to be a little more private with uh, the ownership of your domain name, you could consider purchasing this. There is a thing called a who is lookup, where you can just look up who owns the domain name and all the information. So also take that into consideration when you're registering the domain, what information will be displayed publicly. I'm just gonna click up here, continue to cart. And this is just saying that you get a, a free trial of Office 365, but we'll just continue to cart. And now we're here on the domain purchase page. Right here, it's showing the term, how, how many years I'm gonna register this domain name for. You can register for one year, two years, three, five, and 10 years. For this example, I'm just gonna do one year. I just need to remember to go back next year and renew this domain because if it expires, it'll just be unusable and someone else can go register it. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on proceed to checkout. Now, if you already have a GoDaddy account, you can log in here. If you don't have a GoDaddy account, you can create a new account. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new account. And here, I'm just gonna enter in my information. Okay, so I've skipped ahead. I've already filled out all my information. So now we can click continue and it has my billing and payment information and now we're ready to place the order. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, I agree to the following. And I'm gonna click place your order. And now it's telling me that my order has been submitted. So it'll probably take a minute or so for this order to go through and make that domain available for use. So we'll wait a couple minutes and check back and see the domain name available in our uh, account. So if I click up here on my name, I can go ahead and click on manage my domains. Okay, so now you see I have impressivesocks.com available here to use. It also has a little note that I need to verify my email address so that this domain doesn't get put on hold. So uh, you can just click here, verify email address, and it'll send an email. Just be sure to check the email and follow the steps to uh, make sure that your, uh, your domain name doesn't get put on hold. And that's basically how you register a domain name, and it is now ready to be used. Be sure to check out some of my other guided videos, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.